Jonah Colley at Prayed Off in Syracuse, New York. Now I'm going to tell you a really interesting story, and you're going to be on the edge of your seats. Why fasting is the best way to lose weight. Mary, at table five, lost a lot of weight, well over 100 pounds. And then she started having some problems. She'd be the first to admit she started putting some weight on. And she came back from the pandemic break looking fab. Oh, whoa, what did you do? And she said, intermittent fasting. So she started telling me about it. This is last September. I did a little meeting on it. And I tried it myself. You know, I gave up dinner. Uh, I did it for a week. I didn't feel good. I felt weak. I felt kind of dizzy. And I said, intermittent fasting is not for me. So since September of being back, and I put on some weight over the pandemic, I've pretty much done nothing. I come, I work hard, I don't eat dairy, gluten, sugar, I exercise, I eat egg beaters, I eat chicken, I eat a salad, nothing, nothing, nothing. As a matter of fact, I can gain weight like nobody's business. So Ellen Lent, Ellen Lent started on February 10th. Today is February 24th, 14 days later. I decided, I studied my food log. I said, okay, I'm not going to have egg beaters, chicken, or salads because that's what I've been doing. It doesn't work. I'm going to give up breakfast because I couldn't give up dinner, but I can give up breakfast. That means that I eat dinner at 5.36 at night. That means I'm not going to eat a meal for like, and then I eat my lunch the next day at 1 o'clock. Wow. So that's like 19 hours, don't do the math, something like that, 18, 19 hours of a fast. So I tried that, and I didn't eat breakfast, so for lunch I would have like an all-veggie patty with Brussels sprouts, or um, I had uh, mashed cauliflower that I want to marry and have children with. I love it so much more than cauliflower rice. I love mashed cauliflower. I love it. And then I tried the chicken recipe with peppers. Uh, we had tofu with spinach. Didn't really want to marry the tofu, but I had it. We tried different things. Since February 10th, I have lost eight pounds. Wow. I know. And number two, I feel great. I'm not dizzy. I'm not weak. This article on fasting here is going to make a believer out of you. The best of all medicines are resting and fasting, according to Benjamin Franklin. And the benefits of fasting, this is by a doctor, they feel they're astounding. You can reverse insulin resistance, stubborn weight loss, but I'm gonna stop right there and say something critical. Listen to me, everybody. I had a complete physical in January. Complete. You name it, they did it to me. And that's when my doctor said, I want you to do high intensity interval training, which I've also been doing. And he also said that I can fast. There's nothing wrong with me that I can't do these things. I do not want anyone in the group to fast or do high intensity interval training unless you have it cleared, unless you're okay to do those things. Because if anything happened to anyone in the group, it would really kill me. It really would. Not literally, but figuratively. You know, I wouldn't, I was very unhappy. So that's my disclaimer. But if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, I haven't felt this good since pre-pandemic days. Plus, it gives you that psychological mojo. You say, I'm doing it. I'm not just beating my head against the wall. It's actually making a difference. It makes you feel better. Also, it says it's the most powerful tool on the planet for weight loss. And Mary can attest because since September, she's lost additional weight and kept all the weight she's lost off. And what are you up to, 140 pounds off? Oh my God. I think close to that, 137. 137 off to be exact. Congratulations. I knew she wouldn't care if I told you that. So, and since it's easier to burn sugar than to burn fat, our body will choose the 
path of least resistance and choose to burn sugar. So when we're eating those carbohydrates, that's what it turns into everybody, sugar. When we're eating sugar, it's sugar. So the body's like, well, I'm gonna burn that stuff. And that's why you get the highs and then you get the lows. But if you don't have those things and you're fasting, the body's like, what am I gonna burn? I better start burning the fat. And the second thing is, it's just like high intensity interval training. It's like, okay, I better burn this fat because Ellen needs some energy. Well, what if she does it again tomorrow? I better get ready to burn some fat. So your body thinks you're going to do the high-intensity interval training, so it starts getting ready for that, and it thinks you're not going to eat for 19 hours, and it gets ready for that. So you start tricking your body because your body really is into self-preservation. And that's why we have trouble losing weight because the body just wants to say, oh, just give me the lasagna and ice cream and I'll just burn that and we'll just go to bed and be okay, all right? Fasting will cause weight loss by accessing the stored fat as energy and it promotes excess water loss. Oh, does it ever, you know? A diet changes the way you look. A fast changes the way you see. It makes you just see things more clearly. And then Plato, I mean, everyone knows Plato. He said, I fast for greater physical and mental efficiency. And I think all of us do this, and I tend to do it. I try something for a week, like fasting dinner, and it didn't work. And I said, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work. And I just crossed it out. Instead of saying, okay, Egg beaters, chicken salad. And you know, I haven't had a salad in 14 days, and I was having a salad every day. Your body sometimes needs a break. A break. Um, also, uh, cancer prevention. Um, it makes you brain brainier because when it's burning those cells, it's also getting rid of the dead cells. It gets rid of the dead cells in your brain, the dead cells in your body, the damaged cell. Fasting is a cure-all for most, and it's cheap, easy, always readily available, and it fits all types of diets. What better time to try fasting than Lent? <laughs> Hello? And you know, whenever I think back to the Jews, I think they were the chosen people because they were the only ones who washed their hands before they ate, who cleaned their dishes and utensils, who had sanitary uh, 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 restroom practices, who um, they didn't eat pig's pork, but that was a time when trichinosis was rampant. All those rules and regs were to preserve their lives. God gave us these bodies, and he knows what's best to do for them. Going to stop right there, Bobby.